Resident Evil 4 Remake is about to get much bigger. We learned from the recent PlayStation State of Play that the leaked fan-favorite mode, Separate Ways, officially got confirmed and will be releasing next week on September 21st. We've got some awesome insight into that mode with interesting story changes, an update to the Mercenaries mode, PSVR 2 support updates, and more to get into, so let's waste no more time and get straight to the meat and bones of this massive update, Separate Ways. Leaked from data miners finding the files of the game mode around the time Resident Evil 4 Remake launched this past March, Capcom has finally given us confirmation that Separate Ways will be launching next week on September 21st. This mode is said to cost $10, which honestly kind of has me surprised, as I was expecting perhaps around $20 for the story DLC. But considering as many fans had hoped that the mode would be included in the remake on day one, $10 is a fair price, especially considering that the original mode lasted around three hours. The mode, just like the mode when it released on the PS2 version, explores another side of the tale of Resident Evil 4, this time following Ada Wong in a mission that intersects with Leon S. Kennedy during his mission to secure the president's kidnapped daughter and transport her to safety out of a hostile, plaga-infested rural Spain. As we can see in the trailer from the PlayStation State of Play, Ada infiltrates the village controlled by the religious group, the Los Illuminados, under orders from Albert Wesker to obtain the cult's darkest secret, which happens to be a mysterious material integral to the main story known as the Amber. Along the way, her mission intertwines with mainly Leon and also Luisera, providing an alternate perspective on the main story and adds context to events that transpired in Leon's campaign. Back on the PS2 and the various re-releases of Resident Evil 4, Separate Ways has been acknowledged as being an awesome, worthwhile companion piece to the main campaign, showcasing Ada's character and personality more while also giving us some awesome new guns to play with and ways to traverse the environments. Ada's gameplay is noticeably different from Leon's, as she is able to use her grapple gun to ascend to rooftops and spots higher up to rain down her assault from above, while also allowing her to cross chasms gaps, and the like. While most of the campaign takes us to familiar locations featured in the main campaign, many of these areas are subtly reworked with a different perspective, and with Ada's different arsenal, the mode feels unique enough to avoid feeling like a cheap retread. It looks like Resident Evil 4 Remake's version of Separate Ways is likely going to play it quite similarly to the PS2 mode, but will undoubtedly feature all the gameplay improvements of the remake. It is said that we will learn more regarding the gameplay of Separate Ways on September 18th, so for those who want to see more gameplay before the mode officially launches later next week, we have that to look forward to. In a major deviation from the original game mode, it should be noted that Ada Wong is revealed to have been infected with the Plaga this time around, opening up a completely new side to Separate Ways that we will likely explore greatly in the upcoming mode. Resident Evil 4 Remake did change up some elements of the original story, and it looks like Separate Ways is continuing with that trend here. But honestly, I think for as unfortunate it is for Ada to be infected with Las Plagas, for us fans of the game and Separate Ways, this will be adding a completely new dimension to the story, and I honestly can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Let me know if you are excited for this new story twist in the comments below, because this element alone could really elevate Separate Ways even further. I know many fans didn't like Lily Gao's performance in the remake, but it sounds to me like her delivery here in this brief trailer is a noticeable improvement. I grew to appreciate her performance in time in the remake, and it seems like she has received better direction this time around to deliver her lines with appropriate expression. With this chapter focusing mostly on Ada with the incredible Luisera getting some bits of screen time, we also get to see more of Albert Wesker in this chapter, and I am looking forward to seeing his banter with Ada play out here in this mode. It would also be great to see some of the cut content, mainly U3, make a return here as well, along with the fan favorite PRL412. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most about the upcoming Separate Ways. In addition to Separate Ways, a free update to Mercenaries mode will also launch on September 21st, adding both Ada and Wesker into the mix. It is worth noting that the data mine conducted on this game back when the game launched indicated that there were going to be four maps to play on, 
While the initial Mercenaries update provided three maps, being the village, castle, and island, the map titled The Docks was not present in the initial update. It could be that we will be seeing this map in the upcoming update, but note that it does look noticeably different from the Waterworld map of the original game. The docks instead look more like the dock area of the island, and it looks like the background of this image in the trailer announcing the Mercenaries update reflects that of the docks map that was data mined earlier this year. It's also worth mentioning that both Ada and Leon sported two different costumes with their own respective loadouts featured in the data mine. In addition to the Leon we already have in the Mercenaries, the other Leon in the Mercenaries had him in his pinstripe costume sporting the Chicago typewriter. Ada's alternate costume has her in her classic dress. Perhaps these other two costumes and loadouts will be present here in this update, but we have no confirmation on that at this point. Regardless, I look forward to seeing both Ada and Wesker back in the Mercenaries, and especially so for Wesker. His unique thrust punch was super fun to play around with in the original game, so I look forward to seeing how he plays in this remake. Are you looking forward to the free update to the Mercenaries? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It should be mentioned that Resident Evil 4 will be playable in PSVR 2 in a free update coming this winter. We don't yet know if this mode will only encompass the main campaign like it did in Resident Evil Village's PSVR 2 implementation, but we should actually hear much more about this really soon at Tokyo Game Show. It has been confirmed by Capcom that Resident Evil 4's VR mode will be presented at TGS this year, so perhaps we'll get some clarity on what aspects of the game will be playable in VR. TGS begins on Thursday, September 21st, and will conclude on Sunday, September 24th. If you have a PSVR 2, this VR mode is no doubt going to be a smash hit for the platform. RE Village in VR was absolutely incredible, featuring some of the best gun handling in the industry and being able to utilize all the enhanced gameplay features that were brought to Resident Evil 4 Remake and experiencing them in VR is likely going to result in Resident Evil 4 Remake being PSVR 2's flagship game. Resident Evil 4 Remake was also confirmed to be hitting the Apple Store later this year to be playable natively on the iPhone 15. That's just about everything we learned regarding all the updates coming to RE4. With the release of the upcoming Separate Ways mode, I am curious to see if this game will have more DLC plans coming down the pipeline. My hunch is that, after Separate Ways and the VR mode launch, Capcom will focus their efforts fully on the next Resident Evil project. Whether this project will be a remake or a new entry remains to be seen, but we should hear more about what's coming to Resident Evil within the next year. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more updates and information surrounding everything Resident Evil, and make sure to watch this video if you are interested in reliving some of Resident Evil's scariest moments across all the mainline games. Thank you as always for your continued support, and I will see you real soon in the next one.